here at Waynesfield Raceway Park for June the 13th, 2015 of racing action featuring the KNL Ready Mix NRA Sprint Invaders, the Buckeye Machine non wing sprint cars, the Block Insurance Tough Trucks, and the Indian Lake Outfitter Compacts. And joining me, Jeff Hollywood Zweeble, a driver of the Indian Lake Outfitter Compacts. And Jeff, first, welcome back to Waynesfield Raceway Park. Uh, thanks, Brad. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Talk about how you got your nickname, Hollywood. They call you Hollywood, not Jeff. It's Hollywood. Well, it was a nickname I kind of got from uh, a sunglasses incident when I was live DJing back in the day and, you know, young and crazy days and <laughs> kind of stuck. And all my friends and everybody call me Hollywood now. So so when you're in the pits and they say I'm standing next to Hollywood, that's exactly who they're talking to. It's Jeff yeah. Zawebel. You got a brand new car behind you, the black 1H. It used to be blue, but now we've got a black car here. Had an incident last week where you rolled the car over entering turn number one. You joined the two and a half rollover club. Yeah, definitely quite a ride. And uh, like I've said already, a lot of people, Kings Island has not <laughs> topped that ride. Uh, Pretty uh, wild experience, uh, but I walked away from it, and uh, I just got to say to, to uh, JR and Son Service Center and, and the race team and everything, you know, they, they built me a car. It's very solid, and I feel really safe in it. One of the things you mentioned to me um, was the way that you were taking the belts off your upside down, so you actually hit your head actually hit the top of the roof because you're upside down. You kind of forget that. That was the worst part of it because I mean, you know, I retch above my head to make sure that you know the top hadn't caved in on me, and you do, you automatically lose your all sense of where you're actually at. And I mean, you know, I just I heard one of the track crew, you know, they said, "Driver, are you all right?" And I said, "Yeah, I'm fine." I said, "I just got to get these belts off." My next thing was to get out, and I just unclipped them, and bam, I dropped to the ceiling, which was actually <laughs> on the ground. So The cool part, too, as well, you had that uh, video camera running inside the car, so you could actually see the car kind of roll over from the driver's perspective. That was a really cool video to watch. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. And, I, I, you know, all of us, we've all got cameras in our cars, and we run them all the time, and we learn things from them, and exactly, we get a first-person view of what I went through, and it was quite a ride. You told me you picked up the car on Sunday, you got it ready to go for tonight, so one week later you're ready to go for the rest of the season, hopefully. Yep, it took us just a week to rebuild this car, and uh, like I said, I got to give props to uh, JR and Sons Motorsports. Uh, the guys all come together, and we, to quote a friend of mine, thrashed <laughs> to get it done. And as long as Mother Nature behaves herself, well, we'll get to see what it looks like out on the track. Absolutely. A lot of rain has come through the uh, racetrack today, yesterday, the day before that. Real wet on the bottom side of the track. How does that change your prep? Um, I'm usually middle high, so that doesn't really bother me how the bottom of the track is unless it's, it's nitty gritty and I got to really get down there and get into it. And usually we get to be the last ones out on the track for our feature. By then that track is pretty much, you know, everything's pretty decent on it and we have no problems with it after that. Anybody you want to thank? I know you had a lot of people help you put the car back together, but anyone else you want to thank in general for your season? I know you're taking sponsorship as the guys from JT Photo said a little bit ago for the bottom side of the car. Yeah, that they, <laughs> yeah they asked me how much it would take to uh, put a sticker on the bottom and I'd be more than happy to put one underneath there I guarantee it. So coming soon we're gonna have a JT photo sticker on the bottom I think Travis <laughs> uh, will be very happy about that. Yeah no doubt but uh, other than that like, like I said JR, JR and Sons Service Center, uh, JR and Sons Performance Engines, uh, EOE Echoes of Empathy uh, that's a uh, thrash metal rock band they're, they're one of my sponsors <laughs> and you know, all the all the hundreds of, I, I say hundreds, but, you know, it seems like that. All the people that's put a wrench on this and, and helped out to get things back to where I'm ready to strap into this baby and go for it again tonight. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much. It's a team effort over here, and Jeff Zweeble making his turn to Waynesfield after rolling upside down.